Hello everybody, welcome back to another Farming Simulator 25 map guide. Today we're going to take a look at a new mod map in New Frontier. But before that, this video is brought to you by Gizmo UK and Doughboy2913. Thank you for being Farm Barons. So the New Frontier map, as it is released today, which is version 1.0.0.1, is going to be available for PC and Mac players only. Now, I do understand that this map is going through console testing, and hopefully it will pass console testing shortly, and therefore be released for all platforms that support Farm Sim 25, which would also include Xbox Series S and X, as well as PlayStation 5. This is a standard size map, and it's 293 megabytes to download. As I mentioned, the current version is 1.0.0.1, it has gone through a minor update. It was released just a few days ago and then was pulled relatively quickly. The reason it was pulled, well, we had to fix some swath dropping that has now been corrected. Also, missions have been added. A fuel point has also been added and some missing material, material descriptions have been added to the map as well. The map author is Ola Haldor. Hopefully I did not butcher that too terrible much and given this is a wilderness style map this map does not have a predefined starting farm we actually start down here where we have the vehicle shop now we could purchase this land and kind of start our farm here as well or really we could purchase any available plot on the map let's go ahead and take a look at the pda Now, the only predefined fields on this map are going to be in Farmland 10 and Farmland 6. This is where we start. So we start in Farmland ID 10. We have five fields, and then we have several farmlands. There's a total of 21 viable farmlands on the map. If we toggle over here to our Farmland screen, you're going to find that our viable fields are going to range anywhere between... 27,000 and I believe 6,000 or so dollars. So really not too terribly expensive fields. And then our larger plots of land, while well, pricing on those is gonna vary fairly significantly. They're all like 63, 64 acres in size, but this one is $640,000. Meanwhile, its neighbor is merely $327,000. And the neighbor to that one is $655,000. Now you may think to yourself, oh, well, maybe the hillier land is going to be cheaper. Well, let's check out this one. This is the hilliest of them all, and it's $655,000 as well. So overall, you're going to have either between $300,000 or $600,000 in order to buy the farmland. And that's why I would really recommend you set your starting capital to be $1 million. That way you'll have enough money to buy the desired farmland and fields as well as buy some new farm machinery and kind of build out your farm before you're really super strapped for cash. This map does have all of the standard crops that are available to us in FS25. And if we look at our crop counter, we are also sporting the base game crop counter again for this particular map. This map does not have any animals pre-placed. And we do have some contracts that are available on those five fields, as well as we have various contracts like wood transport, which is what you would expect again on a wilderness map. We have one production that is pre-placed, which is gonna be our sawmill. And that sawmill is gonna be able to produce long planks, regular planks, and wooden beams. If we take a look at our prices screen, what you'll notice is that for the most part, the farmer's market, which is our only sell point, is going to be able to sell all of our crops there. We're also going to be able to sell most of our miscellaneous items there as well. Important things to note, none of the raw milk is going to be available for sale. So the buffalo milk, nope. You're going to have to process that in some way in order to sell it. Your cow milk, same thing. Your goat milk. Same thing as well. Your raw goat milk directly out of the pen on the pallets, not going to be able to be sold, but 
But if you do process that milk into something else, you're going to be good to go. Another interesting thing is I found out that this map did not support selling of stones without putting some sort of stone processor down as well. We take a look at our starting fleet. We start out with the FarmTech EDK650 trailer. It's going to be able to hold all of your bulk fill types. We have the Great Plains Solid Stand 1500 Cedar as well. We have the Massey Ferguson MS5713S, the Massey Ferguson MF8570 Harvester. We also have the MF8570 Grain Header to go along with that Harvester. And we have the Pottinger Servo 25 Plow. We do not have any hand tools, so if you want to get into forestry fairly cheap, you will need to pick up your own chainsaw. And then this map also does not have any sort of collectibles, nor does it have a buildable mission or a construction mission. Now I want to go ahead and kind of look to the skies here a little bit so you can kind of get a lay of the land. This map does have varied terrain, so we're not looking at a completely flat wilderness style map. You can kind of see how the ground will fall and rise to us as we kind of fly around here. We also have some pockets of trees, I would say. The map is not heavily forested. And where we do have forestry, we're going to have a mix between the trees that are easy to harvest with a tree harvester and those that are not. There are no custom machines or vehicles included with this map. We do have some custom ground textures, though. I will want to show you those here in a moment. This is going to be the highest point on the map, our little hill. And it is just to the east of our fields. Here we have the shop area with our starting machinery all lined up. We have a little bit of a road. We have a couple of our fields. We're here we come over to our farmer's market sell points. And then we have our sawmill located right here. Something else that I found interesting on this map is that we don't have any of the NPCs that we've typically seen in our starting farms, our starting maps. We have this guy down here who actually changes every time you load the map up. Um, I've been in this map a few times and this guy is different multiple times. We can't talk to him. He's just kind of standing there hanging out saying, hey, what's up? We have our spawn point for our productions here at the sawmill. We have our log drop-off point. We have our interactive icon there. We have our wood cell trigger right here. And then we have our spawn point for our wood chips. And that is pretty much our production. As far as our farmer's market, well, we have two dump points. We have one for our grain over here on the right of the building. And then on the left of the building, we have our dump point for our products, so our palletized goods and such. And again, we have these five fields. And then our starting area here with our vehicle shop trigger. We have a dealer trigger and we have a fuel point. So let's go ahead and buy a Mahindra and just see where it spawns. Well, I guess we're not buying a Mahindra. I keep saying that, but uh, we're going to have to pick something else out. So I guess we're going to have to buy our little ape thing. So it's just going to continue here. I think we've got a pretty good area for our new machinery to spawn. And as such, we're probably going to be limited if we do buy this. We're probably not going to be able to to build this area out too terrible much. So let's go ahead and check this out. Let's buy this farmland. And now that we own this farmland, 
Let's see if we can put a shed down here. Nope, shop area is restricted. How far do we have to go down? All right, so right there is where our shop area ends. All right, so our vehicles are gonna spawn down to approximately that point, at which time we could, if we own this, do some building down here. Or we could build over here. While we're in build mode, let's just go ahead and talk about some of these custom ground textures. So we do have a fair bit of custom ground textures here. So we have animal mud. A couple different types of animal mud going on. Then we have the base game animal and mud there. We have a couple of different types of asphalt. Various types of concrete. Some gravel of different types, forest ground, grass, some more grass. So it didn't take long with these mod maps for us to start getting custom textures, which is nice. Some rocks, cobblestone, and lag stones. Now, as far as trees go, I get a sense that we do have some custom trees here as well. Because some of these trees I don't recall um, seeing when I took a look at the tree video. And then fairly standard plants. So let's come down here and take a little closer look at these ground textures. We have those different animal muds that we put down. And then we moved up here into various concretes, cracked concrete, different textured concretes. And I think these were listed as asphalts. This was forest ground several grasses and then some rocks and then our cobblestones and field stones Now this map is in the European map category, oddly enough, over on the Giants Mod Hub. While it really could qualify as being literally anywhere, we're gonna go ahead and classify it as a European style map, since it is in the European map category. And folks, that's pretty much it. That is really what's going on. This map has not a lot 
going on, but a whole lot going for it, if you know what I mean. Because being a wilderness map, well, the sky is literally the limit on what you could possibly do here on this particular map. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below with respect to New Frontiers. Are you going to be blazing a new frontier on this map soon? Or are you still satisfied with one of the three base maps? Once again, let me know down in the comments below. And until next time, happy farming.